Hey everyone, it's Tim Rhea here live at the Digital Health Summit studio with Dr. Evian Gordon, who's the chairman and CEO of Brain Resource Group. Yes, hi. Yeah, you did it, Tim. Hi. So it, it just gets more fascinating. We were just blown away by the last session. And I have a question for you. So we, we're seeing all this exercise technology, and that's mainstream from Nike to whatnot. When is this, when is the brain exercise just going to be the norm? Wow, that's a really good question, Tim. Um, you know, in exercise, if you exercise and you get that endorphin rush, yeah, yeah. and then you don't exercise for a few days, you go, I've got to get back to exercising, right? We think that by bringing the pieces of the brain together, not just focusing on one small part of the brain, like thinking or emotion or feeling, but training your whole brain, Number one, it's about you. What are people most interested in? Themselves. So if you can, if you can make it engaging enough yeah. to be about yourself, number one. Number two is if you can make the training exercises and the games fun, yeah. so you're secreting dopamine. Yeah, exactly. The dopamine. And then three, and most importantly, just like when you exercise, you're not going to get that adrenaline endorphin rush unless you are immersive unless you intensively run or run a reasonably large distance. Yeah. Same thing with training. Mm -hmm. So if you really are immersed in the game that builds these skills, these thinking, emotion and feeling skills, and you really are intense about it, that is the point we believe at which you're gonna feel the chemical buzz of winning. And when human brains win, they wanna stay there and they will keep coming back just like for exercise. So with brain exercise, it does do a physiological dopamine hit and you get the same rush, okay? Well, only if, you, only if you're immersive, if it's fun. Yeah, if yeah. you're just going through the motions and you're having a bit of fun and it's not personalized to yeah. you, that's why we do an assessment uh -huh. and then match the assessment to uh, games that are gonna build skills that you feel are gonna be meaningful. So when it's about building something about you uh -huh. and you feel empowered, and you trigger those chemicals, my personal view is that's getting to the point where it would be no different to training your body. So what phys what's physiologically happening to my brain if I'm using your tools over time? Am I burning new neural networks in it? What's, what's actually so, happening? It's a great question as well. Two, two, two really key questions. So the, 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 the first thing is that you're reinforcing circuits that fire together wire together so the first thing is you're you're building like a muscle you're building those circuits that are relevant most relevant to your brain mm -hmm. thinking emotion feeling so that's number one the chemicals that are associated is every time you're having a bit of fun dopamine every time you do a positivity thing like the gratitude example we showed oxytocin bonding yeah, yeah every yeah, time yeah. you do one of the social network apps again dopamine. you're building a oxytocin type network now it's not as powerful okay. as doing it the oxytocin social side is doing it face to face, obviously. Yeah. But when you look at the dopamine side of winning and seeing your brain improve yeah. and genuinely improve, not a, just a Mickey so, Mouse game, so, so a what a serious game that builds serious skills, yeah. and you feel that generalize. You feel, hang on a moment, I'm sitting in meetings now and I'm noticing body language that is different, that's helpful. I'm noticing that I'm less reactive when I'm criticized. I'm noticing that I've got a bit more mastery over my stress. I'm shifting negative to positive thinking. Yeah. You see that happen in real time, in your real day-to-day -day life. That's a Hello Houston moment. Because like we're really getting somewhere. Because I need some of that. I mean, my whole team will attest to it because we're just stressed out. We're on planes and then you get grouchy. So you can actually overcome that and, phys and learn. By knowing yeah. your brain. You got to know something about, yeah. so for example, are you more a negative thinking person or positive thinking person? Depends how much cash is in the bank. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but automatically, would you say when you threaten, do you magnify the threat or do you say, I'll make the best of the situation? I guess it depends. 
It's been a tough week, but we're making it through because it's such a big conference. But I think in general, I, I am a positive person. Okay, so that's really helpful. But you could imagine if yeah. you weren't. I'd like to be a little bit more positive, though. I know I think I could work on that. Okay, because you could see that if, but it's got to be natural, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you magnified threat yeah. and you found a way to go, hang on, let's give this a bit more context. Yeah. And there was a game that could help you do that till it became automatic. You could see that could stop you yeah. getting into that cycle of decline, the catastrophizing that a lot of people, 15% of people from our database, the biggest database in the world on brain, wow. everything to do with the brain, shows that 15% of people magnify threat. They catastrophize. Really? Oh, you just go and, and it's tough because they really do need to have strategies to yeah. circuit break and switch to just a, just a bit of context, really. So this is applicable not just for kids, older, I mean, for everybody, the whole population. Pretty much. I mean, we do target it more for the ADHD sites. Yeah, yeah poweringup.com yeah. is more for focus because yeah. the kids, that's the main yeah. game, focus and impulsivity. For people who are depressed and anxious, it's more focused on the stress story first. Yeah. And then, um, but for people who just want to have a better performing brain, we advise really training the key things that matter, thinking, emotion, feeling. And that's on mybrainsolutions.com. So I was, I was just going to pull it up. It's at, it's at uh, mybrainsolutions.com. you got to check out their booth downstairs. And you have to see it in person to really understand what these guys are doing at, at a deeper level. So um, what's next for you? Well, we are moving towards um, biometrics. You know, we're about oh, yeah, yeah. what's the quickest amount of time yeah. you can engage somebody, keep them there, make it about themselves, and empower them in a way that's going to give them a better brain. That's very cool. I, mean, I like what we're doing here because this is about not so much. There's a lot of uh, couch potato stuff going on in other parts of CS, and this is how to get people engaged with your physical health. So, well, we're hoping we're bringing the CPU to technology, and that 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 CPU is is the brain, obviously. Cool. Well, hey, thanks so much. We're going to be, you know, the smartest people in the world in the digital health space are here, and you're one of them. So, thanks so much. Well, great and to uh, speak to you. thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers.